So hey YouTube, it's Nick here from Technotod. Uh, welcome back to the second part of the video. Uh, we really, uh, if you ever hang out to the first video, you watch that. We just left till your, and here's the here's that code we are looking at where we left. Uh, but if you never watch that video, make sure to watch that. Just, uh, click on the annotation on screen and go through the video out there. Now uh, let's take an output of that uh, what it came so here, here we are on the output see this is red and that's what the output was previously and uh, let's uh, take a look on the javascript we're gonna do it today so simply I'm gonna go a uh, quick fast write in script and so I'm gonna use the type as text slash javascript you uh, it really it sucks it's really sucks to type uh, but still now we did that and let's create a function first of all to make uh, our height uh, I'm gonna name in the height of that function of the content area which we usually left we didn't apply any height on the previous video if you hanged out with so uh, we height and uh, I'm gonna go like this directly using DOM method so document dot get element by id and the id will be the con and in that we can use the style property height dot height uh, style dot height yeah that style dot height is uh, equals to e h uh, plus inside the uh, double quotes that's px is the pixels and uh, yeah that's uh, it uh, now we have to make sure we have to assign the value of h as a variable so you get a variable h and we want our window offset uh, the size of the screen to be the height and so I'm going to use this, use an inbuilt function of JavaScript which is window dot page uh, sorry no, window dot inner height and so now let's so till then we just executed the function now. Uh, we just uh, I just noticed it now. We just forgot something in the previous uh, previous session. We want to add a position apps uh, sorry fixed in there in the wrapper to make it like uh, see down it now it's looking something now we have to do this for same con and con two and con three and so copy uh, try uh, tries control G duplicate it con one two and three that's simple how it was see and now i can get this section blew up i screwed up really yeah <laughs> i just uh, misplaced the colors doesn't matter as much you uh, just change it later on and yeah that's the, s the sections we got up there now let's quickly get on this movement up here so let's take a functionality uh, problem now we get another function with a name move that's what I created in the previous one. Uh, it, it, it will be different uh, in the uh, project because I don't remember what I did there. Now create a variable y which will be your page y offset. Now get a code like window.page y offset to get your sorry page y offset to get your page y offset of the page. Now, if you don't know what this page of y offset means, it just means uh, how much you scroll in your y direction. Uh, that's what it means. And we really covered it in the previous video too. So if you watch that, there's no need to uh, talk about this code in this video. So uh, that's it, I think. Yeah, we did y window.page y offset. And again, I will do is uh, I'm just gonna copy this variable edge and paste in there now, uh, once we did that we just want to link our wave uh, that span with and uh, with an variable so we're gonna get as document dot get element by id and choose that id the id was span subs really sorry that's that it now we're gonna go over the if statement and so now if uh, our y is uh, page y offset is less than something called h which is our uh, height of a div or the screen height 
that matters on your because it's the same value it can be even manually counted uh, it can be counted manually it can be a number two to compare so it will depend on that um, when your position is changing so which will be s dot style dot left will be is equals to oops really it will be equal to uh, how much pixels i have to make it and 100 pixels uh, sorry zero pixels because i don't want to move on that no i'm going to copy this condition really quickly it's control d and then i'm going to change uh, this y if it is greater than 2h uh, not 2h just wanted to do in the bracket two times the h sorry it's not directly two times the h this is how we write then make it to our 100 pixels and make sure you change the if to else if uh, so you can apply that condition you just have to write duplicate that uh, if it's uh, 3h now if it's and uh, for the last one you just have to 2 and 3 now for the last one you have to do is uh, change that to greater than equals to and I think that that will work but uh, to make it work we have to execute it first so let's create another event listener window dot add event listener simply on scroll because on the scroll we we want it to change uh, the position and the function will be like move um, i think that's uh, it what it's be let's take a look in the browser we'll quickly refresh that and i think see that's what we are working with here and see it's working fully fine now, uh, before I quit this video, I really wanted to go over a tip that if, if I refresh, the, uh, see, it, it's, it will mess up because the height of this is not fixed and it will really cause you a problem. To do that, uh, you just have to quickly do is um, and execute this function once again when it's resize. So duplicate that and change this to just resize. And if I hit F5, you see, uh, even though I changed it F11, oops, uh, F11, yeah, it won't change its size. That matters now. Uh, quick tip: once I go uh, from the video, you just have to do is make sure uh, all the, all the key feature is that you have to count the comparison value. I I use that JavaScript because it took me a lot easy to uh, make. Uh, the comparisons uh, as a height but you can even use the manual numbers to get it on i uh, think that's it guys love you guys i uh, really appreciate all watching of this video and thanks for giving us a, a like or uh, really a below below i'm waiting really i am waiting for a like and um, thanks for watching guys